Hey everyone, and welcome to Hemp Processing and Technology. Today, we'll be showing you how to monitor and control the carbon dioxide in your grow space. While carbon dioxide enrichment is typically reserved for experienced growers in large closed loop grow spaces, it's also possible for the average grower to utilize it in smaller spaces, especially if you want to try out a budget hybrid loop system, which can allow for grows to happen pretty much anywhere indoors where there's no access to fresh air. So today we'll be showing you the tools needed to monitor and control the CO2. Traditionally, this starts with a CO2 sensor, monitor, and controller combo. The CO2 sensor is able to detect the CO2 in the grow space, which then displays it on the CO2 monitor. And from the monitor, you can automatically turn on the CO2 controller when the CO2 levels are too low, and then turn it off again when the CO2 levels are too high. And when I say turn on the controller, that basically just means that it'll allow the power to pass through an AC plug outlet to whatever CO2 generating option you're working with. For generating CO2, you're typically looking at either a CO2 generator that burns gas to produce CO2 on demand, or more commonly for smaller home grows, a CO2 tank with a CO2 regulator. The CO2 regulator allows the CO2 from the tank to be released at a set pace when power is given to it. In here, you'll also want to wait to release the CO2 as high as possible, since carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen. Now, if you're running a hybrid loop system, sometimes all you'll need is a CO2 sensor and monitor. This can either be built into a single device, often handheld or tabletop, or it can even be tracked wirelessly with the right hardware and app. The cheaper ones require you to constantly monitor the CO2 levels to ensure that the plants are fine throughout the day, while the more advanced options have built-in high-low graphs or even downloadable charts for a more automated monitoring solution. This option works great for a lot of indoor grow hybrid loop systems since all you typically need to do is to just verify that the CO2 levels never get below around 250 parts per million for the entire grow cycle of a plant. And this is possible because just about all indoor grow spaces that are lived in have a higher CO2 concentration than the average CO2 levels outdoors. So a lot of times, this higher concentration is enough to offset the amount of CO2 a plant needs to thrive without the need of access to fresh outdoor air. Finally, there's some natural ways to produce CO2, especially if you only need a small constant boost of it. CO2 generating mushroom bags are a great option here, as they do a consistent job of increasing the overall CO2 levels of a space for a few months without having to do anything special. And because the mushroom needs oxygen to keep on producing more CO2, there's a good balance here, with it never producing too much 
to make the air toxic for humans. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com. <laughs>